Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In my last video, we explored the brushless DC motor, its working principles, and we built a working prototype. These motors are excellent in high speed and high power applications, but they have a weakness when it comes to slow speed control, and they lack something called holding torque, which makes them a very poor choice for open loop motion control systems. What that means, is that it's difficult for us to command a specific number of revolutions or a small fraction of a revolution, which we may need to control the motion in a 3D printer, a robot arm, or other computer-controlled precise movement. Enter the stepper motor, designed from the ground up for a high holding torque and extremely precise movement. We can command as little as 1.8 degrees of rotation at a time. So let's take a look at how the stepper motor works, and of course, build one ourselves. Let's get started. The brushless motor we built last week used electromagnets to spin a permanent magnet rotor. Notice how any time the rotor poles pass an electromagnet, that electromagnet switches off. This ensures the rotor experiences smooth forward motion, but it prevents the motor from being able to stop and hold a fixed position. Let's look now at a basic stepper motor design. As you can see here, the magnet pairs are being turned on one at a time, and the rotor is being pulled into alignment, and then held in place until the next phase of rotation. Each of these moves is called a step, a known amount of rotation, in this case, 90 degrees. Let's try it on the bench. You can see here that it does work, but it's far from smooth. It overshoots each step and then snaps back. This causes huge vibrations in the motor and anything it's attached to. This is where step division comes into play. If we momentarily turn on both sets of electromagnets, we can create a half step to give us smoother motion. You can see here that it's a vast improvement, but it's still not completely smooth. So rather than half stepping, let's try quarter steps. That's much smoother again, but mostly at low speeds. At high speeds, I find that the full step or the half step are performing better. Now that we understand how it works, let's look at a commercial stepper motor. My two-phase stepper motor requires four steps to make one revolution. The commercial stepper motor uses slightly offset teeth to act as magnetic poles. It's still a two-phase motor, but with 50 teeth on the rotor and 48 teeth around the outside. It requires 200 steps to make a full revolution. That's just 1.8 degrees per step. Now, I was wondering what I could make to show a stepper motor in action, when an idea came to me. I've always wanted to have a time-lapse camera dolly type thing. Maybe I can hack one together myself. I finished assembling my carriage and I've mounted a little GoPro on top and I'm going to have a play moving the carriage back and forth.
Well, that was a good bit of fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.